Not yet, Ralph. I ain't got it set up yet. Nah, it's already going. I can't help what you're doing over there. Oh, well, well, folks, we're going from Rosemont to San Rafael. 68 tons we're going to make this truck work. Driving RTA K200. And we're going to go pick up that trailer with 68 tons and a lot of wheels. I like them because they're heavy. Make the truck work hard. So that's what we're going to do this trip. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're going to do Glad to be back. Yeah. Woman driving you crazy again? No, no. No, we can't. Um, some of them always do. I better not say all of them. Some of them always do. Yeah, we do some more well, we can't be stopping at a bar, Doug. Well, right there, right there, right there, man. We can't stop at a bar, Doug. That's right, Doug. We're busy, man. We gotta make money. We can't be hanging out at the bar all day like you do. Well, I was a child. Everybody be able to pick up the trailer. doing just fine without you right there, Doug. Man, the channel was uh, rusty. He wasn't holding up his end, but the channel was doing all right without you. Well, that don't make me feel no better. Nah, well, we need you, Doug. We need you, but we're doing all right, though. Well, that don't make me feel no Okay, Rocky. I don't know what to think, Doug. Yeah, yeah, he's probably wrong. As long as we're gonna go up down through here and get her done, these big events are popping up here on this night ATS update caused me to crash a while ago. I was driving from the front. They have one of their little events set up with a patch in a road or something or other. Next thing you know, I was wrecked. That ain't working out too good. I was having one of them miserable days for driving. And anybody else ever had them, you get to trying to make a video and uh, everything you do goes wrong. I've had that happen to me half a day today. Well, about two loads worth of it anyway. And, uh, just seemed like everything get in the way, get hung on everything. Nothing was working right. 
It was just one of them days you might as well walk over and jump back in the bed and cover your head up and go to sleep a while. But I stuck with it, though. To it, I was trying to get one that'll work. Maybe this one will. We'll see. Yeah, I watch how you drive. You, you know, keep eye on what you're doing. You won't get in such a mess like you did that last load there. I'm glad to be walking around and see that load. I tell you that. There might be some pictures of it out there somewhere. We don't want to get out right. Yeah, we don't want nobody to see that stuff.
We've got the Cat Z15 engine in here, I think 500 horsepower Cat, 18 speed transmission. And but that load's still putting a strain on her. That's why I like them trailers, is they all got 60 something tons, 54 to 68, 70 tons. Makes a good load, makes the old truck grunt a little bit before it takes off. Yeah, I like that too, Rusty. I don't like to be hauling seven, eight ton, ten ton up and down the road. Every now and then we have to, Ralph, but it's better if we just haul a big load every time. I was going up a hill a while ago, a dirt hill, and another driving I was doing it. Spin out on the hill, it was spinning forward at the had the rear ends locked in and differential lock and, and I was going up the hill and both axles were spinning forward and it was sliding backward. Uh, I couldn't handle the big load going up a dirt hill. I had to cheat a little to get to the top of that hill. I wasn't going to go up it no other way. I had to, had to do a little magic to get it on top of that hill. There's a grudge, people. You see the dug on it? Yep, that's her grudge. Made by Alistair Boyd there. I don't know who made the skin on this truck. It says number three skin on it. I figured they'd come with the RTA truck. I could be wrong if I'm wrong. I'm sorry, but... If that didn't have a name on it, just says number three skin. So I put it on there. Right over there is Walbert, if you fellas that. That's a distribution center. That ain't the store. I said, if you don't want to shop a little, that's just the store there. The distribution center. Hey, like my little truck got on the dashboard. My grandson got one just like that. Boy, he loves it too. That's his favorite toy, he carries that thing around all the time. Only bad part, the trailers won't stay hooked on them, and it. And it's got two, I got two trailers, I got, bought another truck, wasn't no good, and kept the trailer. And so he's got two trailers, and they won't stay hooked up, so. And he's two, as you all know. In about every two minutes, this trailer comes off, so I have to put the trailer back on for it. And that keeps me busy. I got these grabbers, sticks like things uh, here to uh, pick up stuff out of the floor with, way up under a shelf or something, a little pincher like things. And I've been, when I hold him in my lap, he drops a toy, I pick him up with them grabbers. And, Cause I have to hold him too, and he got to see me do that. And now he's just throwing his cars in the floor on purpose here. I'm gonna have to quit picking them up. Or I told him I said I'd just leave them down there if you do that. Guess I'm gonna have to, cause he just throws them down there and, and looks over there to that it's a little grabber thing and says, "Well, let's get that pop on." <laughs> Does he sound like that, Rusty? Yeah, you got a pretty deep voice, but like you, Ralph. Yeah, I've heard him talk a time or two. He has got a little deep voice for a little bit of fella. Yeah, sure well, all the lights working on the trailer look like good LED lights. Yeah, and that's what I want to do to my van one of these days if I ever get to work on that thing. Put the fix the inside, put them LED lights on the outside. Put some more cab lights up there on top. I was looking at the cab there just a minute ago on this truck thinking what kind of cab lights I got on my little man. I've been watching uh, people turn those things into living, living at them for a year or two at a time like that. Uh, like a nothing no bigger than a van. They've seen it for a year or two. Mine is bigger than a regular van. School buses, 
vans, box trucks. They've been making homes out of them. And instead of paying rent, they put their rent money in gas and travel all over the country. Seems interesting to me. I don't want to travel all over the country, but I'd like to fix my van. Yeah, that's right, that's right. We want to see what it looks like on the road. Yeah, I've been waiting on it, Ralph. unless I lose a sub or two. I have lost subs. I'll get up in the morning and I'll have like, like uh, 489 and I have 487 later, so I don't know. But anyway, right now it's 492. So uh, eight more subs. And uh, we had that 500 mark, so if you're watching, and you enjoy it, whack that duck down there and subscribe. Subscribe to the old channel. Let's get it up there to 500 or more. And I've been working at it for two years, I think. I must not have been doing something right. Mm, I'm damn it, Rusty. I've told you that every day. You wasn't doing nothing right and you didn't ever listen. I told you and I told you, you let Ralph do this and that'd be just fine. Fix this channel there, Rusty. Well, what in the world would you do, Ralph? Well, the first thing I'd do is get some old moles naked chicks. Well, that ain't right, Ralph. That's just not right. Well, I didn't say naked. I said lightly dressed. How's that? That still ain't right. One of us making them home videos. Got his woman on there wearing just uh, short shorts and, and low cut tops. I'm sure he done that for the viewers, or either she just runs around like that one all the time anyway. But, but um, it's a little obvious why they done it. Yeah, I see what I told you, Russ. You see what I told you? Get, old, get one of them in here, take kick a duck out, and poke one of them in here. Yeah, how about kicking Ralph out? No, you can't kick me out. I got that contract. Remember, I'm stuck right here, Russ. Whether you like it or not, boy, you're going to regret that, I tell you what. I can already feel I'm starting to regret it, Ralph. Nine times four and a half more years up, you're really going to regret it, Rusty. That hard to say, Doug.
this is a little short trip really, but it winds up taking us quite a while because the heavy load slowing us down too much. But it was supposed to be like a three air trip. That slowed us down a lot trying to pull this load around. I'm afraid they did a jack break, afraid they did a jack knife or something here. Nah, you ain't afraid of me. Well, I hate to run another video. Well. <laughs> Since we put that, uh, Volvo dealership mod in here, we got a lot of the European Volvo's over here running around. It don't bother me, I say some people probably already took it back out on the camera of that, but don't bother me, I think they look pretty good over here. Buzzing around. Tons heavy steel load, 68 tons. We'll get this thing parked and we'll let y'all go if you're still here. If you're not still here, well, don't get scared that then, did you? Mm, I'd say that that brought it you, big dummy. Dang it. I got it, Rusty. I got it. <laughs> 